Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Invin. Today I have got a banger for you guys. This is going to be the MP5 from Cold War and this gun is nutty in Warzone. If you haven't used it yet, you have been sleeping on this weapon big time. It's something excellent. Aiden used it in the World Series of Warzone and dropped a ton of kills which has probably brought a lot of you guys into the limelight on this weapon, but it's absolutely insane. If you have been sleeping on it, now is your chance to not do so. Go ahead and watch this video. I'm going to give you guys the best class that you can use for this weapon. And I'm also going to talk you for a few tips and tricks on how to make the most out of this weapon. If you do want to enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like on it down below for me. And if you're new to the channel, drop a subscribe, man. We're uploading every single day. We'd love to have you here as part of the channel community. Push it for 2k subs, so help me out, drop a sub, and let's jump straight into today's video. Alright, so as you guys can see on screen here, this is the MP5 loadout that you are going to want to be rocking in Warzone. It's the one that I've been fine-tuning and rocking. It's derived from a few different content creators and pro players, what they've been using, and then I've changed up a couple of things to kind of make it more unique. I think it's very similar to the build that Aiden was using, if not the exact same build. So you know it's going to be very, very good and highly, highly competitive. The MP5 right now in Warzone is one of the fastest TTKs Decent range for an SMG and very, very high mobility, which makes this thing absolutely lethal. Next to probably only the MAC-10 in terms of mobility. But the TTK on this has got one of the most damages up close in the entire game right now. So you're definitely going to want to try this one out if you've been sleeping on it. It's the Cold War MP5. So this is one from Black Ops Cold War, not the MW1. The MW1 is good as well. But today we're just talking about the Cold War one. You're going to want the sound suppressor on it. Obviously, that's the new sound suppressor that we got with the previous Season 3 Reloaded update. Gives you great mobility, great accuracy, great up-close potential with a close-range build. So sound suppressor on for the muzzle there. We then throw on the Tiger Team Spotlight, as a lot of you will know by now. It says movement speed, name walking movement speed. It's that stray speed that we're looking for, aim movement speed, firing speed, all that good stuff is going to be highly up with this attachment and it's going to make you be able to bounce around enemies very, very quickly, which is insanely good. You then want the Raider stock on there, again, just for the most movement possible, as well as that snappy sprint to fire time. Bruiser grip on the bottom there, just gives you movement speed and hip fire accuracy. Similar very much to the Mac 10 where you run the Bruiser grip for the exact same reason, that hip fire accuracy is nutty with these two weapons, particularly the MP5 because its base hip fire is ridiculous. Ridiculous. So with this attachment on, it's super, super good. And it also has the added bonus of giving you that movement speed as well. So you can reposition and, more importantly, outposition your opponents very, very easily with this weapon. And then we finish it off there with the standard 50 round drum. Yes, it affects your ADS a little bit, but it gives you the most ammo for the least amount of reduction in comparison to fast mags. So you're definitely going to want to run this mag. So right now in Cold War, this is probably one of the best close range weapons in the game. It's absolutely insane for Season 4. And if you guys haven't tried it out like I said before, you have have been sleeping on it. This thing is a ton of fun, not to mention it's very, very competitive. It gets you kills very, very quickly. Now, a few tips and tricks when you are going to use this gun. You're going to want to hit fire it when you are very close because it's just as good as ADSing with it. Obviously, once you use it more and more, you'll understand which distances you want to ADS, which distances to hit fire. But particularly if you're going to be strafing around, skidding around, sliding around, all that good stuff, and if people are going to be pushing up close to you, just hip fire them. They're going to have something like maybe the LC-10, the Farah, the Krig, whatever they've got holding out in their hands right now, maybe even a sniper, who knows. And if you're going to be able to hit fire them with this, even if they've got another SMG, like I said, the LC-10 there, MAC-10 to a certain extent, depends what they've got the build on for, but Cold War MP5 is going to be very similar to this. But any of the other SMGs, the Bullfrog, the Bison, the Org, any of those things right now, you're going to be able to outgun those at close range if they're ADS and you're not ADS because of the movement you have with this. Now, on top of that, it's going to give you a ton of movement ability with these attachments on, which is going to mean you can dive around all over the shop and mean that you can camera break easily, slide cancel into gunfights easily, and slide cancel out of gunfights easily, which is really important. And it's going to mean that if you keep on top of your movement, you're going to be able to get a lot of kills easily. So do remember when you're using this weapon, always keep moving. It's really, really accurate whilst you're moving, and that's one of the main advantages of using this gun. Now, another thing, just to finally top off this video here, you're going to want to make sure that you're using this gun paired with a long, mid to long range AR or a sniper. It works very well as a sniper support, hasn't really got the mid range potential though, so you'd probably want something like the LC-10 for that, but if you are going to rock a mid to long range AR such as the Krig, the Farah, maybe even the new C-58, this is going to be a fantastic weapon to pair with it and it's quickly becoming one of my favourite weapons in Warzone, so you're definitely going to want to try this out. Now if you found this video useful make sure you do drop a like down below on the videos it really helps me out, and if you are new to the channel make sure you drop a subscribe, turn the notification bells on, we upload every single day and we'd love to have you here as part of the team. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, as always, take care and peace!